All right, Lewis Sports Lino, Man Over Market, and this is the recap for December 9th. And what a day we had today, right? We put a low in at uh, 20, 50, 40, 20, hold on a second. <laughs> All right, 20, 33 and a quarter, 20, 33 and a quarter. And now we uh, went up and uh, we didn't take out the highs from Globex, but we got close. 2060, which is point of control, 2062 and a quarter was the high. But this is the key right here that we talked about this morning. And I got to start marking these on the, on the count of these B's here. All right. That was the um, single prints back from 1118. I remember that day and I thought that that was a hell of a tale. And I told you they always revisit these single prints. I wish I knew when, but this is when, what they do. Um, for the rest of the day, we'll take a look at the profile. All right. I was expecting this mode to move up. Um, they're starting to put volume on it, 2058.75. I believe they'll probably move it up because then all this stuff will end up being on the bottom. Now they've cleared out the book, went back and tested that area so they can take it up for the next two weeks and get all-time highs again. So, um, you know, after we after we made those lows, um, I did put out a lot of a lot of messaging today, and I told you that uh, you know they had to get above forty eight, and uh, here it is. Here's our here's our five minute pivot. Let me go back down here when we took it out. Well, let's talk about the action this morning. So this morning we opened up, pushed lower. And um, here's 8.30 right here. Opened up, rallied a little bit, and then we pushed lower down into the new lows. And then um, we made these lows right at 9.30 Central Time, which is the counter trend period. Put the bottom in, and then it was uh, like a slow grind. And then about uh, after we took out the pivot right here, Okay, 2048 even, which I put out. It said above 48 even, it'll invite the buyers back into the pit. And uh, sure enough, okay, then the that, the key to that was here, I marked these single prints, is that we had single prints from 45 half to 49 half. That took care of the, that took care of those single prints when we took out the pivot. And then all day we've been waiting to take out the single prints from 2057 to 2059, right up here. We went and we were teasing in value the whole day, I mean the latter part of the day, and we took it up rallying without moving the mode yet. So um, now it looks like, you know, I think it's going to retrace a little, but we got to get some value and move that mode up because it was still sitting at 2040 even down there. Um, hey, this is a bullshit day, right? This is what the dealers get to do because they got They sit on a ton of dough. It's their own money, not their money. They get to push it around, get the retail guys out of their longs, and then at the end of the day, what do they do? They rally it up. Remember, I said it today, and if you guys haven't seen the movie, all right, Lewis, they are, they're, you know, they don't want, you know, they want people to buy their GI Joe with the gung fu, the gung fu grip. So they're not going to take it down and destroy the market, especially they got bonuses coming, bonuses coming. So, um, but you know they scare you when you hear that news from China uh, and long, and and Europe is uh, you know lagging in sales and oil oil is going to be uh, bad for the market. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be bad for the oil companies, but what about all the other companies that use the oil? Right? What about the American consumer? What about the worldwide consumer? I'm gonna put. You, I'll bet you, right now, you take a look at my car. I went to fill my car up the other day. It's half. It used to be a hundred bucks. Now it's like fifty-five bucks, fifty fifty-eight dollars, almost half to fill up the fill up the car. I can't wait to see my heating bill. So guess what? Put another put another average of seven hundred dollars in the in the consumer's pockets every month. See where that money goes. Oh yeah, they're gonna save it. Yeah, Americans save it. All right, I'm on my soapbox. All right, so um, 
we did get a bad value. We closed in here. Um, I want to see the mode move up. Uh, it looks like they're trying to <clears throat> put some volume up here at uh, 875. We'll see what happens uh, with that. But I think that uh, we're poised now that we had that break to go out and rally into the in in uh, up to the last day of the year. That's what I'm looking for. Um, tomorrow, um, today we we uh, didn't take out the Globex high, which was right here, 62 and a quarter, but we came close. So we'll have to look at that. Let me go look at a day chart. Let's go take a look at a day chart. Tired with all this stuff in there. Ah, here we go again. Look what happened after two lower closes last time. Two lower closes, boom, up to the highs. Two lower closes, look at this big buying tail right there. Nice, awesome buying tail. Two lower closes, clearing the way for us to get to 2079 again. Maybe, maybe they'll take it to 2100, 2100. I've got uh, an email uh, from my son that uh, I want to share with you guys. Let me get to it. He works with a financial group. So uh, it talks about the length of a bull market. Okay, the length of the, this last bull market. Inbox. Let me go in here. Here we go. All right. The longest bull market in SP history without a 10% correction was 2,553 days from the crash in 1987, which I was there, to the year 2000. Okay. And then. Currently, we have gone 1,157 days since the last 10% market correction. However, we did not see, however, we did see a 9.9% .9 correction in 2012 and an 8% correction in 2014. So, basically, we're halfway through if, there, if we go another 2,553 days. Okay? So that's the longest bull market in S&P history without a 10% correction was 2,553 days from the crash in 1987 to 2000. <coughs> and I was trading during those years, baby. And then currently we have gone 1,157 days since the last 10% market correction. However, we did see a 9.9% .9 correction in 2012 and an 8% correction this year. And that was uh, in October. All right. So, looks like we're getting uh, poised to go out and take the highs out. All right. Everybody have a good night. I'll see you in the morning. And uh, good trading. Bye.